a 30 year old man here in San Diego County is now isolating after being diagnosed with that variant strain. Two others in his household are being tested. Doctors say the man had not traveled anywhere, which means it's likely that he contracted it in San Diego and that there are other undiagnosed cases here. This new strain is believed to be as much as 70% more contagious than the normal strain of COVID-19, and its arrival comes as San Diego continues to see a surge in cases. News 8's Richard Allen has the very latest. Richard? Well, that's right. Researchers say because of the prevalence of this strain worldwide and because of travel patterns, it was bound to show up here in San Diego. It was just a question of when. I don't think that the Californians should feel that this is something odd. This is something that's expected. Speaking Wednesday with Governor Gavin Newsom, Dr. Anthony Fauci said there are likely more cases with this more contagious strain of coronavirus, known as B117, here in California and in other states as well. The 30-year-old man diagnosed with the strain here felt symptoms on Sunday and learned yesterday he was positive. The case had no history of travel, so we know there's more. We don't know how many. Script researcher Dr. Christian Anderson says while preliminary data out of the UK indicates the strain could be as much as 70 percent more contagious, the steps to protect ourselves from it, face covering, social distancing and abiding by the health order remain the same. Detecting this lineage here doesn't really change what we need to do other than we need to do it better. And while studies so far show this strain is transmitted more easily, further research in the coming weeks should confirm that, as well as whether the UK strain is any more dangerous than the normal strain. All indications at this point are that it is not. The 30-year-old in this case is now recovering at home. Dr. Eric McDonald of the County Health Department confirmed that symptoms are similar to the ones we're already familiar with. These uh, patients will present the same way or, in fact, potentially be asymptomatic. Another question, whether this new, more contagious strain may affect those who've already been vaccinated or previously recovered from COVID-19. We are hopeful that this particular lineage will not have any effect or minimal effect on pre-existing immunity, whether that being from uh, previous infection or whether that be from the vaccination. And researchers here in San Diego are working with researchers just south of the border in Mexico, where this new strain has not yet been detected, although Dr. McDonald of County Health said he believes it is unfortunately just a matter of time.